Welcome back. You're watching Overdrive and it's time now for us to answer your queries on Auto Selector. Bert joins us as always. Hi Bert. Our first question comes in to us from Ashu Varma. Wants to buy a diesel hatchback with good power and hopes to get a mileage of about 19 to 21 kilometers a litre in the city and at least 22 to 23 kilometers on the highway. He has a budget of about close to 8.5 lakh rupees. He's interested in buying the latest i20 CRDI Aster model but he's got a couple of queries about the car. He's read that the i20 has rattling issues with steering and it feels very flighty on high speeds, lowering driver confidence on highways. Also, he's heard the suspension makes a thud sound when exposed to bad roads. He's also concerned about the AC and the fact that it isn't as effective as the Swift, the Punto or the Polo. He's got a lot of concerns there, but what do you have to say? Uh, well, Ashu, if you want the kind of mileage that you're looking for, you'd either buy the Chevy Beat or you'd buy the Indica. Now, those are the only two cars that will satisfy the 21 km per litre average that you're looking for in the city. There is no other hatchback that will cater to that demand. Now, but I'm assuming you aren't really looking for that because what you've said is that you're looking at something like the Swift, the i20, the Punto or the Polo. Now, if you're looking for something that's a large hatchback, well, your best bet in this segment is the Swift. It is the most fuel efficient. It is also the most fun to drive car. Uh, but the i20 is concerned, you, well, you have a lot of interest in that, car, in that hatchback. But let me assure you, there are no concerns. There are no mechanical or reliability issues with that car. It's a perfectly well-built product. It will last you for a long time. But if you really want the fun factor, the Swift is where you ought to be looking at. Our next question comes in to us from Bhavesh. Bhavesh writes in saying he wants to buy a bike that has a best highway cruising ability as he regularly does long rides of around 200 kilometers. The bike should be easy to handle in the city as well. He shortlisted the Honda CBR 250, the Ninja 250 and the KTM Duke. He also wants to know if he should wait for the Yamaha 250cc bike and when it's going to be launched. Well, let me not waste much time over here. The KTM is the answer to all your questions. It is a motorcycle that is brilliant in both the city and on the highways. We've tested it extensively. I've ridden personally in the city, in Mumbai, in the teeming traffic. And well, I must tell you, it's an absolute revelation. That motorcycle is just brilliant. It's got phenomenal low down torque. So riding it is very comfortable. It's got the right ergonomics. So you aren't going to be uh, distressed over a long period of riding, especially on the highways as well. Shumi has ridden this motorcycle extensively as well. It's his long-term bike which he's bought and he's ridden it from Bombay all the way up to Coimbatore and back and let me tell you that ride was absolutely fabulous. He didn't have a single complaint. He just kept raving about that motorcycle. So there's your answer. The KTM 200 Duke, that's the solution. Okay, back to cars. Our final question from Dinesh Menon. He's confused between choosing a mid-segment sedan and an entry-level sedan. He drives mostly within Mumbai and deals with the city's traffic. He's concerned with looks, driving, comfort, fuel economy, low maintenance and space inside the car. He'd also prefer an automatic car over a manual. His shortlist includes the Škoda Rapid, the Maruti Desire, the SX4, the Etios, the City and the Vento in the entry-level sedan segment. And in the mid-segment, he shortlisted the Civic, the Lara and the Jetta. Of the two completely different segments, what would you recommend? Well, Dinesh, it's obvious what you're looking for is a bit of premiumness, luxury and comfort. And well, since you drive, most of your driving rather is done in the city, we recommend the Skoda Rapid. It is a fairly large car, it's a fairly spacious car on the inside. It is also a very luxurious and comfortable car. The right quality is well sorted out for Indian road conditions. And then uh, the automatic that you want, the Rapid is available with an automatic transmission as well. So that will give you a further ease of driving in the city, in the traffic that you have in, Mom in Bombay. Now, in addition, it also has that premiumness that you're looking for in a car because you would want a car between either the Corolla or the Rapid. And well, the Rapid offers you enough of premiumness. It's got fantastic features inside. It's got the soft touch dashboard. The leather is very nice to feel. The wood inserts, the chrome bits, they're all very luxurious and premium. So overall, your experience with the Rapid will be fairly rich. All right, but with that, it is time for us to wrap up Auto Selector for this week. Remember, if you have a question, we have the answer. Send us your comments to helpdesk at overdrive.co.in.